Hey, what's up? It's Ryan Oakley here with this free online course, Create a Gorgeous Photography Website with SmugMug in 90 Minutes. Welcome to step 7b. In this step, we're going to finish off our Work With Me page. What we're going to do is we're going to get our text in by um, clicking on this Add Caption here and getting our text in. Now, to make this quick, I've got all my text saved in a Word document here. And, uh, and so I'm just going to copy and paste this stuff in and uh, and then show you a little bit about what I'm uh, how it's formatted and, and why it's like that so this first about me section is going to be uh, right it's actually going to be all the way down to here so it's this big long stretch and I'm just gonna paste that in so I went control C and control V and I'm gonna go so there's there's all my text right so it's got hi there I'm Johnny Walker and I'm a wedding photographer based out of the Antarctic my style of photography is blah 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 so that's all just straight text but at some point you'll see um, in this other uh, section you'll see this uh, text is now blue and big well to do that you need to do uh, to do a little bit of uh, I guess it would be like HTML code so you call it h2 and you put it in brackets and then you close that with a little uh, slash and I'll give you this uh, this text um, exactly how to do it um, in my uh, in my blog post but uh, just want to show you why it's showing up like that and then uh, you can see here I've got some bolded text right so please 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 find a photographer for your wedding that you like that's in bolded because it's important so if you want a bold text you can just use uh, the code B and then close it with a slash and uh, yeah and then at the bottom I've got a little bit more bolding here and then the very bottom I've got uh, the very last line is the top of the testimonials so you can see about that here so it looks like it's part of this but in fact it's just the bottom line of this top section and it I think it lines up quite nicely so that's what I've done that's a little trick there so you do the header code at the bottom of this first one so when I go save Oh, I got a spelling mistake in there. That's good. <laughs> Go check that. So there, and you'll notice that the um, header two style is actually not in blue. So I've got to go change that at some point. So I'll do that in a later video. But um, so yeah, if I want to go change this stuff, and I want to, I do want to change my uh, spelling mistake. I'm going to go edit, and then I can come back up in here. So where was that spelling mistake? Here's photographer was spelt wrong, so I can change that real quick, and that's all fine. So convince, convince. We want to do convince, convince. There you go. Save. All right. So that looks good, and like I said, we're going to change the the color of this here in a, in a in a little bit. So now we're going to going to keep doing that for all these other ones. So here's a testimonial. If I go back into Word and I scroll down, I've already written out my testimonial. Copy that, paste that into there. So you can see again, I've used the HTML code to, to make some text bold. That's your choice if you want to do that or not. And then we've got, uh, well, I'll just keep going. So here we've got some with some underline text. So to do the underline, like bold was uh, B, you can see there but underline is U. so if I want to underline the word bride I need to do the U code HTML so there you go so it's underlined and then the next one oh it looks like I uh, screwed up my copy and paste but I can fix that easily So here's my next one and go save and there's some bold stuff in there and you can see I forgot to put the names here I uh, screwed up the copy and paste but I can easily fix that right there just delete there okay so that's in so that's good and then one final one. Actually, I'm going to move that while I've, while I've got it on my mind. Okay. And then this is the final one here. Save. So there we go. So now I have 
I have this page um, all filled out. There's a couple of uh, uh, customizing uh, tricks that we're going to do here and I might uh, create a new video for that. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, we can go back here and now what we want to do is uh, put that page that we just created, the work with me page, up into our nav bar. So if you remember navigation bar, so remember how we do that, we're going to go back to tools and easy customizer and then we're going to go find header and navigation bar builder and we want this after the client gallery so we're going to hit the plus button right there we're going to call this work with me and it is uh, a specific gallery that we created called work with me and then we can go okay perfect so we're going to go publish here so we published and we're going to go back to our home page and now we've got all four of our links working in our in our header in our navigation bar which is awesome so if we go to visitor view our site is looking really good here's our slideshow here's our banner here's our links and now here's our work with me page and you can see it's still got we've got some uh, it's not as clean as I want it we've got gallery pages here we've got the slideshow button we've got this stuff here and we have uh, we want to put some color on this page we want to highlight these uh, uh, this bit of text here so look forward to step eight and I think it might end up being the last um, tutorial we'll just have to see all right we'll see you in the next video